Happy Monday! Welcome, my marvelous mathematicians. So today we're going to do something a little bit new, not a new skill, but I'm going to introduce you to some new materials that we're going to use to practice this. So let me just show you my um, table here. So what you see in front of you, these are called base 10 blocks. And within the base 10 blocks, they have three different counting materials. They have materials called units. And these are counters that you're going to use to count by ones. Then you have a rod, and this is used to count by tens. And if you look at that, there are 10 different sections connected together. So whenever we use our rods, we're going to be counting by tens. And what you see here is called a flat. And this flat has sections made up of these cubes, and there are actually 100 of these. So 100 units makes up a flat, all right? And then 10 tens, right, would also make up a flat. So we're gonna actually take a minute, we're gonna put that flat aside because you really aren't gonna use that too much. You're only gonna use that in probably late first grade and definitely in second grade. So what we're gonna talk about is we're gonna be talking about how to build our numbers in the teens using our base 10 blocks. So for example, if Mrs. Lucas said, let's see if we can build the number 11. The number 11 would need to have one 10 and one one. 10 plus one more equals 11. So let's say I wanted to use the number 15. And Mrs. Lucas said, hey boys and girls, could you build me the number 15? Well, you would need one 10 and then you would have to count on with your, your units by one. So 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, and 15. And that would act equal 15. One 10 plus five ones equals 15. So what if I said to you, okay, boys and girls, I wanna actually build the number 19. Well, I would need one 10 and how many ones? That's right, I would need nine ones. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. All right, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine units or nine ones plus 10, 10 plus nine more, that's going to equal 19. All right, so one more thing that I wanted to share with you is that if we have 10 units, that means 10 ones all together, guess what? We can actually take those 10 ones and trade it out for another 10. Just like we do in calendar time with our bundles. Once we get 10 straws, we bundle those 10 straws together. So I kind of did the same thing. I just traded out my 10 units for one whole 10 rod, okay? All right, and then of course, we talked a lot about this at calendar time, and if we have two groups of 10, and we join them together, what's that gonna be? 10, 20, that's right. We're going to have 20 cubes all together, two groups of 10 equals 20. All right, so um, one of the things that I'm gonna also share with you I just want you to get a picture in your mind. I want you to see what, and let's see if I can do this real quick. I want to see, I want you to see what they look like. So for example, if I'm asking you to build a number 10, one rod is going to equal a group of 10. What does the 11 look like? 10 plus one more cube is going to is going to be what 11 looks like. 10 plus two more is going to be what 12 looks like. 10 and three more is going to be what 13 looks like. 10 and four more is going to be what 14 is going to look like. What's 15 going to look like? That's right. One 10 and five ones. One, two, three, four, five. So 10, 1, 10, and five ones is gonna equal 15. 16 is 10 plus six more. 17, 10 plus seven more. 18 is 10 plus eight more. We did 19, what's 19? 
that's right, one ten and nine ones. And then what is 20 going to look like? We just talked about that too. Two rods or two groups of 10 is going to be what 20 looks like. So I want to make sure that you understand this. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to stop sharing my screen for just a minute. And I'm going to ask you to find your dry erase board if you happen to have it nearby. Don't worry if you don't. But I'm going to write a number up here. So my number today that I'm thinking about is going to be the number 13. So if we're doing the number 13 and I ask you to write an equation, what is that equation going to look like? Well, an equation is always going to have some kind of a symbol or a sign in the middle. It might be a plus sign. It might be a, a takeaway sign. It might be when you get to the older grades, um, a division sign or a multiplication sign. But for right now, for us, it's going to look like this. You're either going to have a plus sign or a minus. But today, the equation is going to use a plus sign because I want to know how did you build the number 13? What plus what equals 13? Well, in order to build this number, we took 110. So I'm going to write the number 10 in here and three ones. So 10 plus three more is going to equal 13. So let me just show you that really quick on the board. If you were to work on um, a separate piece of paper, it might look like this, okay? So we can build numbers. This is not one of your problems that you're, not one of your worksheets that you're gonna do. I'm just sharing it with you so you know what it looks like. We have done this before in our workbook pages. I just wanna make sure. So if you have the number 13 in the middle here where it says blocks, they may ask you to draw the blocks or they may ask you to find it down here, cut it out and glue it on. So what we're looking for right here is the number 13. So I'm gonna go down here and I'm gonna start on the left and I'm gonna say, okay, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Well, that's not 13. So let me go to the right, right, top right. So we have 10, 11, 12, 13. Ah, there it is. So if I was doing paper pencil, I would cut that out. I would glue that in here. And then here you see the equation, which is what we just did. So the equation would be 10 plus three more equals 13. So I wanna make sure that you understand that. All right, one more thing that I wanna um, share with you and I kinda of wanna ask you about, this is gonna be our exit ticket for today. Um, and we're gonna do some more of them throughout the week. But for today, to end our lesson, this is going to require you to do a little thinking. So I have an exit ticket for you here. That means we're going to exit out and we're going to leave the lesson with something for you to think about. So the question is, how many tens, how many tens are in the number 15? So if you look here, we have, right, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. So the answers are, how many tens are in the number 15? Is it A, two tens? Is it B, one ten? Or is it C, five tens? So look carefully on the paper. How many tens, how many rods, or how many bundles do you see? So if your answer was B, you're correct because it was one. 10. It can't be two tens because we know that if we have two tens, that's going to be 20. And that's going to be too big for the number 15. If you answered C, it can't be five tens because what's five tens? 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. It's 50. 50 is way too big for 15. So the answer is going to be B. How many tens are in the number 15? One ten. There's one rod. And so sometimes they might ask you the question like this. They might say to you, so for the number 13, how many tens and how many ones? All right. So take a look down here at the bottom. How many tens and how many ones are in the number? We're going to go back to the number 13. And then number 13. Well, we know that there are one, there's one 10 and three ones. So sometimes they're going to ask you that question and you're going to have to answer this way. 
how did you build the number 13 or 15 or whatever number they ask you? Well, how many tens did you have in there? Well, you had one 10 and three ones. Or write an equation and show me the number 13. How did you make 13? Well, 13 is 10 and three more. So they're gonna be asking you two different ways to, to build that number, all right? So today, when you go on to Seesaw, you are going to be working on that. You're going to be telling me, you're gonna be counting. How many are there in all, right? They're gonna be using um, the rods and the units. So the base 10 blocks, and you're gonna to have to tell me how many there are in all or all together by counting the base 10 blocks. All right, so I know you guys are gonna be super duper mathematicians today. You are gonna do a great job on that. I'm super proud of you and I will see you back here tomorrow and be looking for that question. I'm gonna be asking you an exit ticket to, um, question tomorrow before we leave our group. I'm gonna be giving you some practice, okay? So tomorrow when you meet me um, at morning meeting, you're gonna make sure that you need to bring your dry erase board or your magna doodle or just a piece of paper, okay? So great job today, you guys, super proud. Love you, and I will see you tomorrow.